up playing Nevermind 351 here and today is Christmas so uh Merry Christmas everybody <laughs> and um so yeah today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a haul and sort of a review so um so something you might notice is the camera isn't shaky all over the place and uh that's because I got a new tripod finally so I'm not gonna show it in the video because I already set it up and everything so if you want to see it, just shoot me a message over on Instagram, and uh, yeah. So I'm probably gonna start with the sets and then go into everything else. This is just Lego related stuff. But if you want to see anything else I got, just shoot me a message and I'll probably tell you. So uh, first set, I got quite a bit of poly bags. Let's see, the first set here is uh, Harry Potter, Hedwig the Owl. Set. I'll put these together and post them over on my Instagram, probably, that's what I'm guessing. I'm probably not going to show the built sets in this video, so if you want to see them built, go over to my Instagram. So, the second one here, we got the Holiday Tree, that's really nice, it's a Lego Creator set. Third set. We got the uh, Skeleton Defense from Lego Minecraft. That's really nice. And then poly bag number four, we got an Ocean Diver. It's kind of hard to see the whole thing, but here we go. All right, so that's all that for the poly bags. I also have two sets. This one is the uh, Brickheads, the Mandalorian, and the Child. So that's a wonderful set. I love that. I've been wanting that for a little bit now. And then the biggest set I got this year is the uh, Pasana Speeder Chase from uh, the new Star Wars movie, The Rise of Skywalker. So here it is. Pretty excited to build that. And I also got three gray base plates, so I'm probably not going to show those off on camera because I'm sure you guys know what they look like. And then I got one brick arms pack that we're actually going to go a little bit more in depth in. So I'm going to dump these out and show them one by one. So please bear with me while I dump them all out. So. Alright, so it looks like number one here is the M97 shotgun or trench gun. Beautiful gun. I have quite a few of these already. Oh yeah, and if you didn't see already, this is the uh, World War One trench pack V2. So it's a uh, brand new, just this year. So I'll lay them out when I do them. Uh, next gun, it will be the M1903. sniper or not a sniper just an american rifle it is a standard one for world war one uh let's see if i can find it. yeah all right here's the one that goes with that is the um m1903 with bayonet so it's the springfield if you are wondering sorry the lighting is not the best i'm sorry about that in advance but i'm working on it Oop. Uh, next, these ones are the ones I'm really excited for. Uh, this is the two new additions to the pack. The rest of the pack is just the same, but I'm going to show it off anyway. If you haven't, if you, so if you haven't seen the uh, other pack, that is. But, so this is the LaBelle with the bayonet, 1886. This is a French rifle. I was really excited to get this one. I've been wanting a LaBelle for a while now, but I just haven't gotten chance to buy it until now. And then here is the normal LaBelle without the bayonet. Looks amazing. Can't wait to put those on my French soldiers. Um, this one right here, this is the um, M1895 Russian. So it's a 
lever action rifle. I believe it was the last lever action rifle they used in war time. This one's one of my favorites. This is the uh, Tiggewehr or Tankgewehr. This is an anti-tank rifle that the Germans had, and it is huge. It is giant. This took like two or three people to fire. trench mace here, nothing too special about that. I have the old remolded version back on one of my other videos if you want to go see that one. Uh, we got a normal trench mace in black, though you probably can't tell that it's black or not. And we got a couple more guns to go. So this one is the Mosin Nagat. This is a Russian rifle. quite a few of these already. And uh, this one, uh, let's see, I believe this one is, I gotta look at my cheat sheet. <laughs> this one is the Gewehr 98 with the bayonet. This is primarily a German rifle. This one kind of looks similar to the uh, Springfield. This last one here, this is the, uh, I know, is the SMLE Mark III with bayonet. One of my favorite guns, I love this one. I have about three or four SMLEs. And there is always a nice addition to the collection. So yeah, that's about it. I'm so happy I finally got this tripod. Um, I've been wanting one for a while now, and I just got it for Christmas from one of my friends at school, so thank you to him. And hopefully for my birthday I'll be getting more supplies, like a microphone or something, just to make the quality of my videos a little better, so. Just expect better videos in the future. And, um, one thing that I'm trying to get figured out is my first vlog that I took over the summer of 2019, I believe. So it's been simmering for a while now. <laughs> it's been quite a hassle to edit and uh, get uploaded because it, the, the file size is ginormous and my friend just can't send it to me through like a text message or anything for some reason. So I gotta upload it off of his computer and it, it's a whole thing. I'll try to get it sometime here soon before, maybe before the end of the year, I don't know. But uh, Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates it. I hope you got a bunch of good stuff and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.